Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. I hope you guys are doing well. And by far, one of the biggest cybersecurity news in the past couple of months is the Log4j vulnerability. It affects such a wide range of products. But today we're going to look at how to specifically remediate or mitigate uh, the Log4j vulnerability in a VMware Horizon Connection server. So stick around and we're gonna walk through those steps. Okay guys, so I have the VMware uh, KB article pulled up for Log4j remediating this uh, vulnerability in VMware Horizon and VMware Horizon agents. So uh, one of the first things to call out with this KB uh, of course, the recommendation is to uh, install the fixed version of VMware Horizon Connection Server as well as the VMware Horizon Agents. However, if you cannot, uh, for whatever reason, uh, install that fixed version, if you're tied to a specific version at this point in time, uh, there is a workaround, a mitigation. Specifically, we're going to uh, talk about the Horizon Connection Server in this video. Uh, just keep in mind that you want to make sure that your entire infrastructure for Horizon is mitigated. That includes your uh, unified access gateway servers, the Horizon connection servers, as well as the Horizon agents that are installed on your endpoints. So I'm going to scroll down to the workaround section. In the home lab environment for a test I have two Horizon 7 connection server. So old at this point. The steps are the same for Horizon 7 as they are for Horizon 8. The first thing call out to in the workaround section is to remove the web access component from your Horizon connection servers. Because actually on the connection server the web access component is where the vulnerability exists. So if we remove the web access component as well as the underlying jar files that actually have the log4j vulnerability, then we can successfully mitigate for this particular uh, vulnerability and against any attack against it. If we scroll all the way up, there are two attachments. So I'm going to download the um, Horizon Windows. I'm going to then copy uh, that zip file archive that has the, the mitigation script onto my Horizon Connection servers. Now the first thing I would do is take a snapshot. Make sure you've got snapshots on however many you have. Put that snapshot there across the board uh, so you have an easy rollback. So as you can see what I've done is I've unzipped the um, mitigation script so I have that in place. But the first thing that we're going to do is manually uninstall the web access component from our Horizon Connection servers. The first thing that you do, we're going to go to Programs and Features, and we are going to select to remove the Horizon 7 components on our Horizon Connection server. Now this may seem a little bit scary, but what we're going to do is we're going to leave the ADLDS instance uh, as an installed component. So we're simply just going in, we're going to remove both the connection server and HTML access uh, components. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kick this off and I'm going to say continue. Be sure you want to uninstall. And this typically does not take much time. And in fact, uh, one of the interesting things that uh, VMware notes do not bring down any connection server, keep them all running and follow this procedure on each of them, one at a time. A reboot is not needed and should not be done. So it's actually a pretty simple process. So we're going to just simply step through the uninstallation of the components. I'm going to remove both of those, uh, connection server and the web access. And then what I'm going to do is just simply turn around and reinstall the connection server without the web access components. And the rest is very straightforward. We're just going to simply next here, accept the EULA program group. And the most important part of this reinstallation is unchecking install HTML access. Again, this is where the vulnerability exists. And if you noted, 
regardless of whether this was initially installed as a replica server, the instructions on the KB tell us to install a standard server. So that's what we're going to do. Standard server, next. Again, no HTML access. And this box is to be expected. Uh, in fact, if you look at the KB, uh, it basically says a dialog box will pop up. At least one directory services instance already exists on the system. And that's what we saw. And it just simply says to click OK. So we're going to click OK. We're going to simply next through our normal installation screens and then we're going to just simply let the installer do what it normally does and what we had already installed on the system uh, previously. So now what we're going to do, the installer has finished uh, reinstalling a Horizon Connection Server so we're not going to look at documentation, we're going to click finish and now what we're going to do is actually run the script that is provided by VMware. So I have the script, I've, as I mentioned earlier, extracted it to a folder. We are changed into that folder and now we're going to run the script. There, there are a few options that you can run by default. It runs in report mode, so it's not making any changes. Uh, but we can make that a verbose output by simply doing slash verbose. And as it notes, the services are running, so it's going to tell us, hey, I can't really do anything with the services running, but that's okay in report mode because we want it to just simply tell us if there are vulnerabilities. What we're going to do now is we are going to go to services and we will stop the uh, VMware connection server service. So I'm going to expand this out so you guys can see. I'm going to stop the service. And we must stop the service for the script to actually remediate or remove uh, those jar files that exist on the system. So now we've got the um, service stopped. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our script. Actually first, let me clear that out and we will back this up and we're going to use the resolve uh, switch along with verbose. So resolve tells it to actually perform the remediation. Um, so as we see completed, please restart the services for the changes to take effect. So now what we simply need to do is go back to our connection server and start the service. Now what we will do uh, in an environment with more than one connection server is you want to make sure to just roll through these uh, applying the re remediations, again installing the connection server without the web access component uh, and as a standard server. And as you noted, we simply use the existing ADLDS uh, component so it's going to just reuse that database once it is reinstalled. So hopefully this simple walkthrough of how to remediate your VMware Horizon connection servers from the Log4j vulnerability will help any who have yet to do this. And this is a very serious vulnerability to be sure to get either patched or remediated as soon as possible. Well, again, I'm Brandon Lee. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do like uh, the video if you found it useful. And please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll see you guys soon.